welcome to my channel my name is King Eric. if you are just coming to my channel for the very first time it's good to have you here so in today's video we're going to clean organize and stock my fridge so just a few details i am nigerian and i live here in nigeria so i'm just saying this because the products you're going to see may not be familiar with you depending on what part of the world that you live in also this fridge is pretty new we got this fridge about i think it's been about two months ago. um and i have been trying to find ways to fully maximize the potentials of this fridge um half of it is a fridge and then the other half is a freezer but since i got this fridge i have organized it different ways i have bought a couple of organization solutions um and then it's funny because there are a couple of things that I've bought that I no longer use. There's some things that I've bought that I've kind of repurposed. Um, and so that's, that's how organization is. It's not a one-time thing. It is gradually evolving until you get to that point where you're like, okay. And I don't even think you can even get to that point where you're like, okay, I'm fine with it. I don't think I'm ever going to change it because a lot of things change. Sometimes you go to the store and something that you usually buy may not be available. And so you might not find use for that particular area or that particular storage container so it changes very very often um, but right now this is what the situation of my fridge is like this is what everything looks like I'm going to let you guys in so I can show you what my fridge looks like show you how I also organize it show you guys some of the organization solutions I've been able to buy how I'm using them in fact there's one of them that I bought that I thought I was going to use in a certain way but it's funny how over time I've just been like, you know what, it's not going to work for me that way. I'm just going to use it like this. Another thing is with the way I shop, I make sure that I have a good idea of the things that my fridge can carry. So I know not to buy more than what my fridge can take because I rather have empty spaces than have um, a situation where I buy things and I don't know where to keep them or they look too cluttered or too crowded in the fridge. So I always make sure that I buy things that can actually fit the size of my fridge. But the thing about me is that we clean as we go. So if I open up my fridge and I see that there's some dirt, I like to clean. Immediately I find that dirt instead of leaving it till whenever we're ready to fully clean it. The first thing we're going to do is of course to offload it. We're going to clean it and then while it's being cleaned, I'm just going to be organizing stuff into like the different containers and like um, we're going to rinse off stuff, you know, and put them in Ziploc bags and all of that so that once the cleaning is done, we can just stock up the fridge again. So that's what we're going to do. A good 40% of my fridge is full of water because there are six of us in this house and from Monday to Friday, there are seven of us. So we consume a lot of water and even though we have a water dispenser there, um, I live in a country where we have power outages and sometimes when we have power outages, um, we can't turn on our water dispenser but we'll be able to get cold water from the fridge. Now, bear in mind that this fridge does ring off an alarm after one minute of it being open. So I'm going to have to at different times close the door and then open it. I don't know if you guys can see that. So yeah, that's what we're experiencing. Even though I don't like the fact that it makes that sound, I like that I can actually tell that my kids have been in the fridge for too long. So I'm just going to wipe down, wipe inside um, all of these um, side storage things. Um, this is what the freezer section looks like. Um, so I have quite a, an amount of space. This is supposed to be for my prep meal. So all the way from down here, I have my local food store. So we're just going to get into that in a bit.
doesn't feel that far So far, so far Give a paper crane can fly Then forever doesn't feel that far So far, so far If a paper grain can fly Fly on, fly on, fly on, fly on Fly on So we're done let me show you guys what my fridge now looks like so on top i have my meal prepped meals or my meal prepped food i have just two plates that is cooking cream i don't know how that is going to work because it is left over the pack got torn so yeah that's why i have that i have so much space here um because this is not my this is not my main storage for food i store a lot of things in my deep freezer so i have ample space right here so down here i have okazi leaves um these are the leaves i use for soup these are the leaves i use for afang soup so they are dry leaves but just because i don't want to hear any story plus i have the space so so here i have minced meat um and i usually would use this for pasta and then i have some seafood that i'm going to use this weekend for fried rice so in this drawer i have my local food stuff i have blended igusi blended ogbono i have iru i have some bitter leaf so i just threw this here because it's easier for me to find them here on like when they are in the deep freezer because they can get lost sometimes in the deep freezer so i like that i like that they are here um in here i have some unblended igusi still yet to blend this i have some granite unblended granules i have blended ones as well so yeah just, i just threw all of those in here that's, that's it for the freezer section um now for the fridge section um i really love this can storage you can store your cans like this or standing so you have five i think five cans lie and then you can put four on top and then you can put three on top of that so that means totally this one of these can take 12. and the reason why i have them standing is because i have those long cans and those long cans don't um they don't lie so they are too long to lie across so that is our drink storage um so down here i have the kids juice pack um then there's water um, I store their biscuits here. I have a major biscuit storage 
in my store or my pantry whichever one you call it so i just bring out here because it's easier for them to access this ones unlike the one in my store so they have a few biscuits and like cheese balls and all of that um here so in this drawer we have butter we have um, some chicken franks sausages um, we have leftover cake from last week that we're going to consume today we have um, yogurt and then there's greek yogurt at the back there here we have some apples bell peppers and these organizers that i got are actually stackable organizers and it can sit in here when it's stacked but i just realized that it wasn't functional enough for me so i decided to put them like this and that's what i said about um storage organizers you use them how it suits you um when i just got them i was using them stacked but it's just stressful trying to open each of them and i just didn't like it that way so this is how i'm going to store now i can decide tomorrow to stack them again it just really depends on how it works for me and what i have available so here i have green apples i have lemon um, i have these bell peppers that i'm planning to use for fried rice this weekend so by weekend these are not going to be available and then i have some grapes here and then i have some red apples so in the last drawer i have some carrots here washed already scraped prepped then i have some green pepper and spring onions then i have some chili pepper and then in this storage container that i got i have cucumbers i really like this stuff um you can just throw in a bunch of um your greens or whatever into this um two of these can fit into this drawer which is nice um, but i just got one um and it's quite big because these are three big cucumbers so it can even take like three more i believe um but then yeah so I used to use them to store tomatoes and peppers so that's why i said you can always repurpose your container so for the door section this is the dairy section and i just have milk um this is the milk that i use when i want to make pancakes and banana bread because that's the only thing i use them for in this lower section i just have sauces um ketchup i have vitamin c i have my vitamins some lemon juice here i have some teas and some vitamins as well so the whole idea of this is not because i can't store them somewhere else but it's just because i want to be reminded to take them and i can easily just reach out for water and you know send them down my throat so that's why they're here down here i have um honey i know my honey is crystallizing but i didn't want to put it in my cabinet because my daughter accesses that place a lot and i didn't want it to get broken so i know it's crystallizing i can see it and then i have mayonnaise barbecue sauce salad cream pancake syrup down here i just have jam chocolate spread granola and then i have some coconut flakes so if you have anything to share with me about storage or refrigerating food items or if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful I also hope that this inspires you to clean and organize that place in your home that needs a little extra love. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Take a